Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got a shorty today, and I mean it this time. I mean it. Um, so, we have a video that is a suggestion from one of my subscribers, which I thought was a great idea, is to review the EQ switch on the two rack Bloomfield drive. So, really fast, just really what this thing is. So, this switch that I'm pointing to right here, says EQ1 or EQ2. Basically what those different voicings are is for humbuckers or single coils. So basically EQ1, you know, use a humbucker through there so you can have more of a balanced tone and attack when you're switching instruments on stage. EQ2, more for pushy, punchy, single coil stuff. Um, but I will say this, it's not necessarily for humbuckers or single coils. You know, flavor to taste, salt and pepper, right? I love the Josh Williams Mockingbird through EQ2. I think EQ2 feels like home to me as well because I've owned the Two Rock Studio Signature for probably four or five years now, and the front end of that amp is always EQ2. So it's just more familiar to me. You know, when I plug into this amp, I leave it in EQ2. So really fast, we are in um, 40 watt mode. So we got some big cleans here. That's really what we're gonna show you is just the difference between uh, EQ1 and EQ2. We'll start with the Strat, we'll go to the Josh Williams Mockingbird and we'll cut out of here. Here we go, we are on the neck pickup on the Strat. All right, cool, that was EQ1. Let's do EQ2, we'll start on the neck pickup again. Cool, there's EQ1 and EQ2. Let's go over to the Josh Williams Mockingbirds. We got some humbuckers. Now, I will say that these humbuckers are low wind, kind of low output, PAF style pickups. So they are the Bloom Buckers from a company called Tone Specific. Start on EQ1 on the neck pickup.
All right, let's go to EQ2. So getting carried away there, but you should be able to tell the difference between those for sure. Let me just, I'm going to like strum some chords and flip that switch back and forth, back and forth. Let's go to, uh, actually, you know what, stay EQ1 real quick. I'm gonna put some overdrive from the protein. So this is gonna be on the bridge pickup and the green side. Let's go to EQ2. Let's switch back to the Strat real quick. We'll do the uh, protein with that, and then we'll get out of here. Um, so it's pretty, I think it's pretty glaringly obvious. You can hear the difference. And you know, I think that this could be, this switch could also be a tool to use if you're playing a smaller club and you want less output um, in a way, and if you wanna get your, your kind of gain from your pedals and everything. You know, or you know, crank the gain on the amp too. This amp doesn't have a high gain, but you can get it breaking up a bit. This is EQ1. Thank you. 
Anywhere, there you have it. Did I say anywhere or anyway? I meant to say anyway. Um, guys, this amp, I mean, I love this amp to death. I will say that I never leave it in EQ1. It's always in EQ2. Always and forever. Um, so, yeah, you gotta play through one. I mean, if you have really high output humbucking pickups, I can see how that switch is extremely helpful to tame that if you're going from guitar to guitar on different songs. But for me, as a one trick pony type of a guy on stage, I'm either taking, usually I have two guitars with me. I'll take one guitar in standard tuning and one guitar in open C for slide stuff and everything. And that's it. And I never, never change that EQ switch. I just think that the EQ2 voice is just so good. It's beefy and punchy in all the right places. So um, that's it, guys. Any questions and comments below, please feel free to pop those in. Always tell your friends, subscribe, click the bell, do all that stuff. It really does help grow the channel. I know people say that all the time, but it's the whole algorithm thing. So um, if we want to grow this thing into a much bigger, cooler entity uh, out in the guitar world, that helps a lot. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'll see you next time.